hello guys welcome to this video so in this video we will look at how to convert a bunch of images to pdf document using jspdf and html2 canvas library and uh, this is actually we will do it in react.js so this is actually the screenshot of the final application that we will make in this video is looking like so we have an input field where we allow the user to simply select a bunch of images it can be jpg or a png let me select a bunch of images we will see the, this live preview of each image so we are using some bootstrap for the user interface so you're seeing each image which is selected a live preview and then we have a download pdf button so if you click this button it will actually embed all the images in a per page structure so each page in the pdf document will take the size of this image so one image will be appearing on the first page then the second then the third fourth fifth so all the images selected are successfully converted to pdf document so in this way you can actually do this process and we are using two packages for this js pdf which is a pdf library for creating it and then html to canvas which actually converts the html to pdf and we'll use these two libraries in togetherness so for getting started we do need to install these packages npmi bootstrap jspdf and html2 canvas so i've already installed all the three packages so simply install it using this npmi command so now you can uh, start your development server npm run dev so i will start it from scratch so first of all we will have this functional component and uh, we will import bootstrap the css file that we install this package bootstrap dist css bootstrap dot main dot css so we install basically importing the css file at the very top so we install this package in the node modules folder you will see this folder appearing in the bootstrap dist we have this folder structure so now to get started in the HTML, I already told you you will have a input field. You will first of all give a bootstrap class container and margin top four. Export images to PDF. We will have input type file and we will be accepting only images. So images slash star and multiple allow the user to select multiple images and we will be binding an on change event handler handle image upload and giving a bootstrap class of form control margin bottom fold so we now need to define this custom function handle image upload so here we can simply handle image upload E parameter will be automatically passed here for event parameters so right here uh, if you refresh we will have this choose file button so now you'll basically get access to all the files the user select using array from e dot target dot files and then one by one you'll use this uh, simple map operator We'll basically convert this to a object URL, create object URL, use it for each file. And here we need to simply declare a variable for keep track of how many images selected. So use the huge state hook of reactions. So initial value will be empty array. So it is imported here. If you see use state hook. And now we'll set this uh, use state hook function set images to the images URL selected here, right? So now we can simply show a live preview of all the images selected by the user. So we can after this input field, we can have a simple div element, and inside this we can give a class here, row or bootstrap. And here we'll be using the JSX right here, and we're using a for a map operator, and uh, we will show this images and we will be giving a bootstrap class here call md4 
margin bottom 3 so we're giving a key parameter then for showing the image we will use the image element we will giving a source here attribute we will giving a bootstrap class of image thumbnail and we will actually be giving some styling to this image so width will be 100% and uh, the height will be auto so if you now actually select images and you will see this live preview of each image appearing you will see that each image that you select you will see a slight preview of which image that you have selected and now we just need a download PDF button just after this so that we can ex export these images to PDF so we will simply be writing some JSX so if the images length is greater than 0 then we will show this uh, download button so we will have this download pdf so we will simply bind an on click listener to this button so we give a on click event handler so when we click this button we will execute this custom function handler handle download pdf function so we will give it a bootstrap class of btn btn primary margin bottom 3 so we need to now actually define this function so handle download pdf so i will just make this function as async so just before starting this function just add this keyword async so now for actually converting the images to pdf it's really easy inside uh, jspdf first of all we do need to import JS PDF it will be imported automatically from VS code so just import this add the import line and then we will be using a for loop we are using a simple for loop images length and for each image we will add each image per page and uh, we will get access to the image like this and for each image we will first of all draw the image on the canvas and then take a screenshot of the canvas so for doing this we will be you need to use html to canvas library so you just need to add this imports line at the very top import html to canvas from html to canvas so we actually we install this package so we are simply importing it and then we are now using this package html to canvas and then here we will simply say document dot query selector and here you need to give it the ID of the element so here we do need to give it an ID so when we are showing the images in the browser right here we will give it an ID per attribute so it will be dynamic so image and then it will be dynamic so every time this is in a for loop so it will be dynamics image dash whatever is the number so now we need to simply select this image using their IDs so right here in the query selector we will simply say hash hash for the ID and then image dash I this will get access to that image and then we will actually use the canvas to data URL which will convert this image to a base 64 code and here you need to specify the extension that you want to we will be using the PNG image and then we will be adding this image to the PDF so so here you simply compare that if I is not equal to 0 then add this image add a new page so for adding a new page in JSPDF use this method add page this will add a new page and then 
for adding the image we use add image method we have two methods in this this will add a new page and this will add a new image on that page add image so here we need to specify the image data which is the base64 code and then the image type is png and uh, x coordinate 10 y coordinate 10 width 100 and uh, height will be 160 you can change all these parameters depending upon how you want to align the image in the pdf after all then we need to lastly save this file save the pdf for saving it we use the save function pdf save and we need to give it a file name here so you simply say result.pdf so this will download the pdf as an attachment in the browser so this completes the application and now if you select the images and now click the download button you will see that the images are converted and we see this pdf file downloaded and if you try to open this now you will see each image has been now converted to the PDF each it is appearing and on a different page so in this way you can actually make this a uh, nice little application which converts uh, images selected to a PDF automatically so we have used these two libraries for this JS PDF and HTML to canvas in react chairs so thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe the channel and do check out my website freemediatools.com which actually is an open source website for audio, video and image tools and I will be seeing you in the next video.